Sister Lucia made Bishop de Silva promise that, quote, the third secret would be open and read to the world upon her death or in 1960, whatever would happen first, end quote. In 1946, Sister Lucia was asked why it was necessary to wait until 1960, and she responded, quote, because the Blessed Virgin wishes it so, and, quote, it would become clear at that time. So what is the message that is contained in the real third secret of Fatima? The following are statements by people who have claimed to know the essence of what the message in the third secret really is. Cardinal Siapi, papal theologian to Pope Pius XII, said about the third secret, quote, In the third secret it is foretold, among other things, that the great apostasy in the church will begin at the top. At the University of Vienna on September 10, 1984, the one-time Bishop of Fatima, Bishop Cosmi do Admiral, gave the following answer to a question about the third secret, quote, Its content concerns only our faith. Father Gomer de Pau attended Vatican Council II as an advisor. He was given a copy of what was claimed to be the text of the third secret. He said the copy of the third secret he read contained a future prediction by the Blessed Virgin of an almost unbelievable apostasy in the church. He said that word got out among journalists that a copy of the text of the third secret was floating around. Reporters asked Father de Paul whether this was the real third secret. Father de Paul accepted this text as authentic after he attempted to ask key people at the Vatican if this text which claimed to be the third secret was true. The Vatican didn't deny the authenticity of this text, and they didn't want to say anything about it. Father de Paul said that Vatican officials wouldn't want to admit that something like what is predicted in the text he read could possibly happen in the church. Cardinal Silvio Odi said, quote, The third secret is not about a supposed conversion of Russia, but regards the revolution in the Catholic Church. The Blessed Virgin was alerting us against apostasy in the Church. So many innovations were born at Vatican II that they appear to constitute a true internal revolution. On March 17, 1990, in a magazine called El Sabato in Rome, Italy, Cardinal Odi made the following statements after being asked about the contents of the Third Secret. Odi said, quote, I believe I knew John XXIII quite well since I spent a number of years at his side. If the secret had concerned realities consoling for the Church, like the conversion of Russia, or the religious rebirth of Eastern Europe, I believe that he would have brought pressure to bear to make the secret public. By temperament, he did not hesitate to communicate joyful things. It has been revealed that Cardinal Roncalli in a number of letters to friends practically announced his election to the papacy. But when I asked him during an audience why in 1960 he had not made public the last part of the message of Fatima, he responded with a weary sigh. He then said, quote, Don't bring that subject up with me, please. Cardinal Odi continued speaking, saying, quote, What happened in 1960 that might have been seen in connection with the secret of Fatima? The most important event is, without a doubt, the launching of the preparatory phase of the Second Vatican Council. I would not be surprised if the third secret alluded to dark times for the Church, grave confusions and troubling apostasies within Catholicism itself. If we consider the grave crisis we have lived through since the Council, the signs that this prophecy has been fulfilled do not seem to be lacking. In the same interview, Cardinal Silvio Odi was asked the question, quote, Did you ever speak with Sister Lucia? He responded, quote, Yes, in 1985 I had gone to Portugal to celebrate solemnly the anniversary of the apparitions, and I did not resist the desire to exchange a few words with her. Obviously, I did not ask her to reveal the secret to me, but I asked her if she was aware of the reason why the Church had decided not to make it public. And Sister Lucia, what did she say? Cardinal Odi responded, quote, She said that in May 1982 she had spoken about it with John Paul II, who had made a pilgrimage to Fatima to render thanks to Our Lady a year after the attempted assassination in St. Peter's Square. Together they had decided that it was more opportune not to reveal the secret, for fear she explained to me that it might be misinterpreted. 
So we see in this published interview with Cardinal Odie an independent, unbiased confirmation of what the imposter Sister Lucia said in her 1992 interview that the third secret is not intended to be revealed to the public. We also see Cardinal Odie stating that Vatican II was the likely fulfillment of what is predicted in the third secret because of the critical preparations that were taking place in 1960 in anticipation of Vatican II. Vatican Council II was announced by John XXIII on January 25, 1959. The anti-preparatory phase of Vatican Council II began May 2, 1959. The work of the Commission ended on May 1, 1960. And the preparatory phase of Vatican Council II began June 5, 1960 with 10 commissions. So the only major news in the Catholic world in the year 1960 the year the Blessed Virgin told the real Sister Lucia that the third secret was to be revealed to the whole world, was that major preparations were taking place for a huge council that was just called for by John XXIII. When John XXIII called Vatican II on January 25, 1959, it was the exact same month and day 21 years earlier that great lights were seen throughout Europe, which were the announcement that the punishments predicted in the second part of the secret were about to take place. So it was no accident that John XXIII called Vatican II on the same month and day, because it was the great announcement of the soon-to-be-fulfilled great apostasy mentioned in the third secret. 